What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at Google Forms. It's a really cool and easy way to make forms and surveys for people to take, and it also allows you to collect that data and store it in a way that's really easy to manage and work with later using Google Sheets. I had to learn this stuff for my job, so I figured I'd just pass on the knowledge to you guys, and making a video on it helps me to practice learning it for myself too. So to get started, you need to have a Google account. That can be a Gmail account, a YouTube account, any type of account that's associated with Google. And you need to go into your Google Drive, which can be accessed by going to drive.google.com forward slash drive, or you can just click in the little Google apps here, this little like tic-tac-toe looking thing, and click on drive, the one that looks like a triangle that got its tips cut off. So to get started, we need to create a spreadsheet. So you can just right click in this blank space here and select Google Sheets and then make it a blank spreadsheet. And it's gonna open a new tab and bring us into this little, um, kind of looks like Microsoft Excel online. And let's just call it survey data. And once you give it a name, it's gonna automatically save. There's no control S or anything like that you gotta do. Close out of it, and then you'll see that this uh, spreadsheet spawned right here inside of my Google Sheets folder. And the next thing that we need to do is create a form. So right click again, go to More, and choose Google Forms. And let's give it a title. So I'm just gonna call this Generic Survey and we'll give it a description. This is a generic survey for generic people. All right, so we've got our title and I'm gonna change the theme of this because the default purple, it's kind of boring. So let's customize the theme. I'm gonna make the color red and you can also choose a header image. Let's go ahead and do that and find a header image that looks really good for our survey. It's a Google form, so let's pick this one here, the gender neutral robots. This looks like it'd be a good theme for a Google form. And they changed my color, they changed it to gray. Damn gender neutral robots, let's get that back to red. All right, so we've done all the fluff. Let's go ahead and start getting into the meat and potatoes. So it automatically creates a generic question for you, an untitled question, and it makes the type multiple choice. There's many different ways that you could phrase the question. I mean, think of all the different ways that you've seen a question on a test in school. You can do the same thing in Google Forms. So let's make this question be, do you use Linux? And Google with their suggestions, I mean, they're basically like in your head, right? Like they, it's like they know what you're thinking before you even actually think it. So they've created both my answers for me. Yes and no. Those are the only possible answers to it. And you can also make a question be required if you want. So if you want to make this um, so that the user has to answer this and able to move on in order to move on to the next question. You can just go ahead and tick that switch there to make it required. And let's go ahead and add another question. So you can just click this little plus here where it says add question. So do you use Linux? Let's ask what distro do, I don't know why I'm capitalizing everything. What distro do you use? So let's put in a few options. Um, Gen 2, of course, that's gonna be number one. And let's say Arch Linux is number two. Manjaro is three. Um, let's put some noob distros in there too. Linux Mint, Ubuntu. Oop, Ubuntu is not supposed to have that. Um, what's another one? I guess elementary OS. I hope that's how you spell elementary. My spelling skills are really garbage. And uh, let's throw something else in. Let's throw in Linux from scratch in case a really cool kid decides to take it. So we can do that. And then let's also add another because there's literally hundreds of different Linux distros and I would be here all day if I was to sit here and try to type out all the different ones I know. 
So now we've got a form with a couple of questions here. And you can always click on this eyeball up here to preview, form, preview your form. So this will show you what an end user would actually see when they go to, um, when they go to take your survey. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a different section because as you saw, these two questions are together on the same page. If you want to have a new page of questions, you can just do this one here, add a section. And this will go and create a whole new section. So you see it's got the title right here like we did generic survey. So I'm going to call this section personal questions. And I don't think we really need a description for that. So now let's add a question. Do you watch anime? Is anime supposed to be capitalized? I don't know, I'll leave anime capitalized. So lots of Linux users, they watch anime. It's not even just Linux users. I mean, I guess it's sort of a nerd thing uh, in and of itself. So let's punctuate and then let's add yes and no. Those are our only options. And we won't make this a required thing. Maybe some people are embarrassed and don't want to answer that question. And then we'll add another new one. And we'll say, do you have a beard? Because a lot of Linux users also have a beard. So yes and no. And this is a required question. You must report your facial hair status. All right, and then the most important thing is gonna to be to link the results of this to my spreadsheet so that when I'm giving this survey to people, I'm gonna be able to collect all of their responses. So let's go ahead and go into the settings here. And um, actually, I think I'm in the wrong section. Let's see, it's supposed to be in the, uh, here it is, the responses tab. So click on this responses tab and then you wanna come over here to the three dots. And then you want to select response destination, select an existing spreadsheet. And this will bring up the different spreadsheets that you have in your folder. The one furthest to the left should be the one that you just created. So let's check that, survey data, select it. All right, and now this is a form that's ready to be taken. So let's go ahead and preview it. And then I'm gonna take this for myself. So do I use Linux? Yes. What distro do I use? Gen 2. Next, do I watch anime? Nope. Do I have a beard? Yes. So then we'll submit our um, survey. So your response has been recorded. And then we can come over here to the Google Sheets, look at our survey data, and all of my results have automatically been imported here. And it even creates the headers for you. So it's a pretty useful thing. So we can see the timestamp when I took this. Um, that's not actually accurate. I don't know what's going on with that, but I am definitely not taking this at almost, is that midnight? Yeah, I'm not taking this at almost midnight. Um, do I use Linux? Yes. Distro, Gen 2, Anime? No. Do I have a beard? Yes. So that's a really basic introduction to Google Forms. I'll probably make a couple other of these videos as I poke around it at work. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And eventually I'm gonna make one for you guys to take so that I can get some information on you guys. Cause there's a few of you now, there's a few of you watching these videos and I'd like to know what type of people are watching my videos. Anyway, peace out guys.